Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about ProPresenter and the Media Bin. And it's all coming up next. So here we are inside of ProPresenter 7. And in today's episode, it's going to be a real brief episode. Just want to get you familiarized with the media bin. So, if you look down here in the lower left of your pro presenter, you have the media bin. But you might say, but Jerry, I don't have the media bin. It's not there. Well, guess what? You can, if you go over here to the right here, maybe you have it hidden. And somehow you've clicked on it or what have you, and it might be like this there might not be nothing down there so if you go over here you can click on media and it'll pop right on up for you conversely you can also go over here to the view area here in pro presenter and you can click on media bin there as well just so you're aware and there's also a shortcut for it if you all are into shortcuts me personally I've never really been a shortcut kind of guy but if you look up here in view you'll see that there is also a shortcut associated with media bin okay uh, and like I said in um, one of the other episodes sometimes people have the media bin turned off because uh, it just gives them more real estate maybe they just don't need to access the media bin right and they just need to go through the slides for their service and they've already set up everything and they don't really need the media bin so they kind of want to tick that off and and you know just get it off the screen right so you have more real estate but if not uh, you can just go ahead and click that media bin there and you see it showing up here. Now in the media bin section here, you have um, a plus icon here where you can add a playlist, a new smart playlist, a new playlist folder. So as you see here, I have set up here a folder for CMG. All of my graphics that I get from CMG go under this folder. And under this folder is um, the graphic areas, okay? And whatever they may be. So if you look here, you see new playlist folder. Well, that's what that CMG folder is. That's the new playlist folder. The playlist is underneath it right here. And that contains all of the items from your media, okay? Now you can import media directly into your playlist just by dragging and dropping it from wherever you have your media stored so let's say you downloaded something from cmg um, maybe it was a uh, you know one of those little uh, graphics like this right here right maybe it's one of these that you downloaded and all you have to do is from your download folder uh, after you've unzipped it if it is zipped up uh, if not if it's if it's not zipped then you can just go ahead and drag that media into your media bin into whatever playlist folder you want or maybe you want to create a new one see i have cmg for this all of this stuff here right that i got from cmg then i also have an other where i put all of my other kind of stuff that maybe i created or what have you like still pictures of the church that we have and then of course uh then there's another one here for vmc so you can create your own little structure here uh, so you can um, store all your media in there now whenever you drag your media from say your download folder or your documents folder or your picture folder wherever you uh, put your media at it will copy it over to the media section inside of pro presenter so now if you are say on a mac if well, i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about if you're on a mac or even on a PC, I believe it's still under Documents. But for this instance, we're on a Mac. So if you go under Documents, and you go over here to Pro Presenter, you'll see there is the media right here, right? And there are your assets. And this is all of your assets that are in the system. And this also includes, by the way, your assets includes your media as well as your audio that's over here to the right. So... Uh, just so you have an idea of where it's actually going to, that's where it's going to in the Pro Presenter uh, Documents folder. Okay. 
Um, anyways, stuff down here, you got a little plus icon, little uh, transitions, right? You have, it also tells you where this picture is located at, right? It's in the other still pictures. You have this where you can make this a little bit bigger right here. You can also click on that if you just want to list or you maybe you just want to see the pictures, right? And so then for the media band, you can always drag these to whatever uh, slide that you might want. Maybe you want to drag it to, say, um, to this slide, right? And there, that's all you have to do. You just drag it from your media band into your slide that you want. You can also click here on this button here. Um, it just closes the... Uh, the media bin and this opens it back up maybe you want to have this showed but you just want to kind of close it too right and um it's really not much else to it let's say you want to get that slide off of there all you do is you right click on it and you go down here and remove that slide from there right and so i hope that was informative and if it was please click that like button right down below and also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of this content in the near future, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.